There were plenty of emotional moments during the service, and also a few instances where royal watchers noticed something didn't seem quite right between Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's two daughters, Beatrice and Eugenie, attended the service with their husbands, and at one point cameras caught Princess Beatrice becoming very emotional. In order to hide her tears, she briefly covered her face and was comforted by her husband Eduardo Morpelli Mozzi. There was also another time though when Beatrice was seen smiling during the service. That moment occurred when Prince William's young daughter Princess Charlotte turned around, caught Beatrice's eye, and the two gave each other big smiles. However, there is another moment royal watchers have been talking about since the service and it has many thinking that the York sisters, who have always been extremely close, may be feuding over something. Seeing clips of the sisters today, I get a feeling things aren't too great between them, one person tweeted. Yes, you can see the tension even Beatrice's husband reflects it on his face and I think Princess Anne does too, another replied referring to a clip of the family outside the church. I would say it was icy, a third royal watcher wrote. Some think that the body language between the sisters may have something to do with Eugenie's close relationship with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. I think the friendship, or not, with the residents of Montecito is having an impact. Eugenie may be making a mistake, a fan opined. Others blamed whatever is going on over Beatrice now being married and having a family of her own. I think Eugenie had the power in her relationship with Beatrice and now she's married, Eugenie has lost the control. Anne's reaction to Eugenie spoke volumes as well. I think Eugenie is as self-entitled as her father, another said. Besides, body language expert weighed in on Princess Eugenie's dynamics with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and suggested she's not Team Cambridge. Jesus Enrique Roses, also known as the body language guy on YouTube, examined the princesses of York's dynamics with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge during the Together at Christmas service in London's Westminster Abbey in December. The event was hosted by Kate Middleton. According to him, it was noticeable that Prince William and Middleton weren't close to Princess Eugenie based on how they greeted each other. First, you see that William's right arm is closely embracing Zara. There is closeness, there's his open and relaxed hand, you can see his inner elbow is basically matching the arm of his cousin. There's enough contact to signal that they feel comfortable with each other and they are happy to meet, the body language expert said, per express. Zara then steps forward to meet Catherine and she embraces her with her right arm. He also pointed out that even if Middleton only embraced Zara with one arm, it was intense. The two royal ladies even stayed close to each other with the Duchess of Cambridge touching her cousin-in-law's arm and tilting her head towards Zara and her husband, Mike Tyndall. Now let's switch to William and Eugenie, Jesus continued. I'm sure by this point you've already noticed there is no warmth and closeness between them. He suggested that maybe the Cambridges and Princess Eugenie had already met that's why they didn't greet each other too much. However, he realized that Zara and Princess Eugenie arrived at the same time because there were photos showing their arrival. Also, the future king and queen consort were early enough that's why it was them who approached the Cambridges. Now about the touch itself. William usually grabs people's arms to signal goodwill. We already saw him embracing Zara, so it could have made sense if he did the same thing with Eugenie, but he didn't. In fact, he just places his hand on her arm and back, nothing more, the expert explained. Per Rosas, Princess Eugenie is not that close to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge based on their body language. In contrast, she seems to share a tight bond with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex.